What's up guys, Adrian Jr. here with Sin City Outdoors, and I got a question for you. Do you agree with trapping? If you do or you don't, go ahead and comment down below. And if you comment no, might as well leave because that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we're big into trapping. I'm here in Nevada, some random spot. As you can see, we're in cat country. I'm gonna be targeting bobcats, foxes, coyotes, whatever walks through my sets. Uh, I forgot my pan cover, so we're mostly gonna be making walkthroughs or exposed traps, uh, dirt hole sets and all that. Mainly targeting cats, like I said, but uh, let's get into it. I have a good feeling. I've been waiting for uh, my traps to come in. We got them all ready, prepped, wax dipped. We didn't dye them because we didn't want to wait from the rust. I was too antsy to get out here, but uh, a lot of sign out here. Hopefully it works out. I don't know. I'm still fairly new to trapping, so we're gonna be trying out some new stuff today. And let's see if it works out. You guys are gonna come along and uh, I'll try to throw tips in from the little I know, and you guys will progress with us. So let's go ahead and get into this. We're just right now. It's already working. You can see I'm already getting oil all over my gloves. Um, this is just like a regular heavy-duty degreaser for like ovens and stuff. And we're just putting these on the traps. It doesn't really matter if it's scented because we're going to wash it all off. So I'm giving a pretty good spray over them. All right, guys, I got some new traps. These are the Bridger number two four coil dogless traps. They're, they're fairly new ones. And uh, they're already degreased. We already degreased them. Now we're just waxing them up to get ready to go put them out today. We didn't, we didn't dye them because uh, we didn't feel like having to wait for them to rust. So we're just waxing them. They'll be fine, I'm sure. But we're going to go set them out today. Or tomorrow, sometime soon. All right, guys, if you notice, I got the lucky man Juju here with me today. He's usually pretty good luck. Yeah. And I also got my dad here. And if you notice, we are wearing one rate. We got Julian all suited up. Uh, it's probably because since we're already out here, we're probably going to make a couple night stands. We have a feeling there's some cats here, so might as well get Juju on some, some coyote action. Hopefully it works out, but... Um, this is just nice country. We're going to be mainly targeting cats again. Like I said, we're going to be going in these big wadis or whatever and looking for uh, scat and just some sign and just everywhere. We're going to be trying out some new things. So, Juju, you think, think it's going to work out today? You and your shadow stash? I think, I think it's going to work good. The traps look really nice. This is crazy. Can we go? Yeah, go ahead, Juju. In case you fall, I'll catch you when you're rolling now. So right here, we got an area where we just have a feeling a bunch of animals are traveling through in general. And uh, we got a little bit of scat over there and just a bunch of sign. This isn't really, but we're, uh, we know that they're going to be traveling right here. So we're confident in our lures, we're confident they're going to smell them. So we're going to make a dirt hole right here to kind of make it look like just something's uh, digging there, something died in there maybe. It's fairly simple. It's what it sounds like. It's going to be a dirt hole set. So you're going to set your trap right next to the dirt hole. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here, um, we have this tool that I got. It's like a hammer, a little. You can use it just to make your set and also dig holes. So we're going to use this right here. And I'm going to put my hole somewhere like right here, I think. And I want it to where they're going to look down. So we're just going to go ahead and... You just want like a, a legit hole. This ground's really weird, so I wasn't able to make the best of holes, but I'm sure it'll still work. You just want to make it look like it's kind of disturbed all around here. Something's been digging. Something's recently died. And then, so I'm going to put my trap probably about six inches or so off. About right here-ish. Right here I got my trap bag dug out. Um, just fairly simple. It's not going to be, it's not going to be the best of sets, but something's traveling through here I'm pretty confident that they're gonna be curious so what we're running here is we've got the earth anchoring system and the way this works is this is gonna go under your trap it's just a little easier to hide it all under your trap and when you tug it it's gonna get stuck down there uh, pretty fairly simple and then I've got the driver right here these are made for earth anchors all you do is these just go right in your earth anchor you're gonna figure out where you want it. I want it right in the center of where I'm gonna put my trap. Just hammer it down there. That's deep enough for my likings. I'm gonna to wanna to be able to get it out eventually. Usually, they'll take it down to the swivel, but 
I don't want to have to really dig them out. So you just take your thinker out. So all you do to set these, you just give them a pull. And then these things, once you pull them tight, an animal's not going to get that out right there. So quite a bit of chain, but you, this chain's going to go under your trap. So we're going to go ahead and set this trap right now. Get it ready. Need something solid to put out. I just use my feet. It's easier. I don't feel like having to use my hands to open these things. Trap is pretty much set. It's not on a snight latch yet, but I just basically want to get it to where uh, it'll set good. Then we'll put a little bit more of this dirt in there just to get it a little more even with the ground. Bury this chain a bit. So we're going to go ahead and set it right there is where our trap's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and these things are night latched, so you'll hear a latch. It is set. This trap goes ahead and it's going to go right there. That's where I want it. So your whole goal, this ground isn't very hard, so you're not going to get it sturdy. But these traps, you want them to sit sturdy to where if they step on it, nothing's going to wiggle. So this stuff right here is Fox Hollow GH2. Just a good scent. All you need is a stick. You're kind of just going to swirl it around in there. It doesn't take much. This stuff smells so strong. Like that. We're going to put this real high. So anything walking through, the wind's going to blow it. Make it smell real appetizing. Maybe even take a little bit of this and dip that in there also. Kind of make it smell really good. That's going to make that smell travel really far. And uh, he's going to want, want to come here and get it. So, yep, that should be good. Close that up. Pretty tight because that stuff stinks. And then this is Caven's Predator Plus. Just a real good bait. This is also what you're going to put in that hole. Just going to be another little smell that they're going to like. And they're going to go towards. What about through this thing? They're that's, deer prints, but look, that, that's a fox poop right there. That's a fox. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, but I bet you if we set a trap here, we could have something. There's a lot of deer tracks going through here. That's that one right here. Think so? Like a walkthrough? What? Can you say there's more poop? All right, guys, this is a perfect. Uh, I think this is the first legit toilet I've found. So what actually this means is uh, bobcats, they, uh, they like to mark spots. This looks like a toilet to me. Looks like bobcat poop. There's one older turd and a fresh turd, so he visited twice at least, maybe two different cats. So we're, what we're actually gonna do is I'm thinking we're gonna double set this. As you can see, it's already kind of a natural funnel. We're gonna double set one on each side and try to catch this cat if he comes back to this spot. We're gonna kind of mark it up, try to hide our tracks a little bit because we were walking along it. And uh, this should catch. So, I mean, there's not very many tracks in here because didn't it recently rain? It recently rained, so it washed all the tracks, but it's a bummer, but fresh poop so always a good sign. So in this spot right here, we are going to find a cat toilet. There's just a bunch of cat poop scattered through here. It's been like he's been here more than a couple times, plenty of times. So uh, we'll put double walk through sets, one on each side. We're going to kind of smooth it out, hide our tracks a little bit, uh, make it look nice and nice and pretty. Two walk through sets like this one right here, it's all blocked off. He's got to walk through there and pretty confident he'll step on our pan. Down there we've got another walk through like we showed you. Right here is the toilet, and as you can see right here, a little more poop that's older, but we've got some fresh poop going through there. Right here is the other walkthrough. Once again, funneled off, he's going to have to step on it. Put one more stick there actually, right there, block that little, a little paw off. So, uh, we're going to put a little bit, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put both the bait and the Fox Hall GH2 kind of around the toilet here. We blocked off all other access routes where those are the only two ways to come in. So. He's going to want to get here, obviously, because he's marking his territory or whatever. Something smells good. Fox, anything walks through. Good thing, well, the reason why we're double setting it is if we accidentally catch a fox, you know, trap plugs as they call them, trap fleas, whatever you call them, we still have another chance of catching the cat if he walks through or possibly two different animals. Just a bunch of different things that can happen if he comes from both sides. So, so because flagging is legal, um, we don't have anything like cotton or anything special for flagging so we're just going to use a little bit of the tape that came on most of on the bait to uh flag with so uh, 
just a little bit. It doesn't have to be nothing special. Just wrapped around here. That's gonna kind of. It's just more of a visual. I mean, it's just out of the blue, you know. A little wad of cotton, or you know, uh, that stuff they stuff pillows with, kind of. Will kind of be better on a string. It'll dangle, but you can see it's kind of swaying in the wind and stuff already. A cat walking through here. They're real visual when they're approaching something that they're hunting. So they're gonna see this. They're gonna wonder what that is. They're gonna smell it. They're gonna want to walk through here. Drew. All right, guys. We. Set, we're pretty much done setting all our traps. I think we're gonna get about seven, like eight or nine out. And uh, we'll be back to set more when we check them. We're gonna vlog when we check them, but other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.